Rob, you remember this guy, Eric? He yes. was the guy that beat Silala. Uh-huh. Three, well, kind of barely, barely, yes. right? This guy was actually the guy that Silala was more afraid of. Uh-huh. So Silala didn't want to face him, but unfortunately, Silala got beat by him. Here we go. They're going to have a very interesting kind of Muay Thai match. Showdown. Yeah, showdown. Here they go. All right. Um, the guy that Chilala was afraid of is in red. Uh-huh. Eric, the guy that beat Chilala, is in blue. Mm-hmm. So blue versus red. Red has much more height and reach advantage. Yeah. Victor, the yeah. organizer, is in the middle. They don't even look like they're in the same weight class. Yeah, they definitely don't. So touch gloves, which of course, guys, always that's optional. You don't have to touch gloves. Sometimes you got to be careful. They might sucker punch you when you touch gloves. Look at the. They definitely don't look like the same weight class at all. Look, that guy looks enormous. Yeah, he does. He's, um, he, I know he's got a very s- strong jaw. Ooh, yeah. lead hook. <laughs> lead hook. <laughs> that was wild. That's, that's pretty telegraphed, but he, like, timed it. Yeah. Woo! Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah, his, his uh, lead hook is pretty accurate. It's weird because his hands are low. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's fighting more like an MMA guy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Whereas... He's, he's very relaxed. He's very loose. Yeah. And you know, there's a 10 second rule on the ground, right? So maybe our, um, uh, his name's called Bao, Wan Psi Bao. He. Oh, yeah, Blue is yeah. trigger shy. Yeah. Blue, Blue is afraid of the power. And I think part of it is, if you remember how he fought Silala, he took the first round to just feel it out. Mm. But he almost paid for it, right? Silala mm. flash knocked out him. Good leg kick there. Yeah. So I think Blue needs to be careful with mm-hmm. a guy that's more kind of Muay Thai MMA trained mm-hmm. because, you know, especially a guy that's bigger. Uh, yeah, the red. Red elbow pad guy has got tremendous confidence yeah. in his hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he throws his hook with uh, impunity. Yeah. He's just, like, not even worried about it. He's like, if it lands, it's going to knock him out. Yeah, exactly. He's pressing forward, too. Mm-hmm. Blue is kind of... Let's see how Blue handles that yeah, hook. Yeah, yeah. He needs to keep that right hand high. I think he's connected a few times with the light kicks. Yeah. That is good. He needs to keep going to the well with that. Yeah. He needs to do that more. He needs to keep on changing levels like that. Uh-huh. And going to the body. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly right. Yeah. That's smart. Oof. That's very smart. Keep moving. You know, you don't want to be at the distance, at the range with this longer range yeah. person. Yeah, exactly. And right now, good. Oh, Ooh. oof. There's the right thought. There's the mm. right thinking, but mm. he just got caught or he slipped. One of them. Mm. Wow. So, uh... The larger gentleman, he, um, they're doing um, <laughs> hip feints, you know? Feints, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Leg kicks. Um, the longer range gentleman, it, he drops his hands post strike. He doesn't uh, bring it back to his chin. So there's a window there. True. You know, if he can, if he can capitalize on that window. Yeah. See, but he's draw. he usually is trying to draw people in so yeah. he can hook. Yeah, yeah. He wants that counter hook. Yeah. Well, these guys are like buddies. Yeah. I mean, they they both beat more traditional stylists, so maybe they have that. They're mm. like, yeah, we're cool because we one mm. of us beat Wing Chun, the other beat Kyoku Shin. Mm. <laughs> wow. He's trying to yeah. <laughs> get lull him into a daze, so to speak. Him. Yeah. It's, yeah, you're so right. The guy in red totally drops his hands after an attack. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So here's some replays. Yeah. In the first round. So. Yeah, he's not afraid. He's not afraid to take a hit yeah. in order to hit, to deliver a yeah. hit. Yeah, exactly. That means he's really confident in his power. Yeah, and that's what I noticed. Um, I watched the red um in an MMA match, and he literally was just taking hits. He didn't care. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we see a lot of that. I love the trying to lull. Yeah, he absolutely. He's yeah. like, hey, look up here, and then yeah. jabbed him. Yeah, yeah. It, like you said, the hook, man. His mm-hmm. hook is really scary. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it looks very sloppy, mm-hmm. but I think it's I think he's n- not being lazy. I think he's being sloppy as a way of drawing somebody in to uh, try and counter him. Yeah. Uh, so that he can uh, deliver those close hooks. Yeah, I think that was a um, hit there, down there. <laughs> so they they get I think as much as ten minutes if they need it. Wow. So like that. Ouch. Oof. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that'll end the fight. Yeah. So. No, I love they slow mo it. <laughs> Man, if that, if that caught him on the chin, it would have been a really yeah. good one. Yeah, exactly. Just barely missed. Yep. 
Uh, I and love how they have the white coat. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes a big difference. Doctor, the doctor has to show up in full uniform. Yeah. Here they go. Mm-hmm. All right. No knees yet. Yeah, no knees. No elbows either. Yeah. I think with the pads, the elbow pads. It oh, might, oh, yeah. Good right good, cross. Good exchange right there. Oh, oh, got him again. See, Eric, um, the blue, is yeah. now slightly more using force. Uh-huh. He's turned it up in the second round. Mm-hmm. He's learned how to close the distance yeah. and get that right cross in there. Yep. Yeah. And duck out and avoid the hook. Yep. Yeah. He gets low and goes under the hook. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's like, kick me in the junk. <laughs> Hunch you. Yeah. Yeah, the oh, there's a knee. First yep. knee I've seen. The um, red, I think, is still doing the lull thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, man, good little hook right there. Yeah, and you, see, you can see you don't need full power. Yeah, you just yeah. need enough that allows them to be distracted. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Tying them up. Yep. Clinch time. Oh, oh, oh. terrible takedown. Oh, yeah. I, didn't realize, on top. I didn't even realize you could ground and pound. Yeah, uh, for 10 seconds. Wow. Yeah. That was so good. hybrid rules. Good job for him for yeah. actually delivering on that. Yeah. Over, yeah, the overhand right's not landing, but his when he gets low, his right cross does land. Yeah. And I think um, Eric's. I think more pure Muay Thai, the blues pure Muay Thai. Mm. If he had more MMA training, I think he probably would have just kept taking the right down. Mm. He might have been able to win like that because we can mm. tell red. I mean, that takedown, red shouldn't have gotten the disadvantage, but mm. somehow red landed on bottom. Mm-hmm. So, and this is, I think when you want to go into a competition like this, mm-hmm. right, you can't rely on bulldog chokes like that. You got to right. have a little bit. Of more grappling. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, guard retention, open guard retention. Yeah, pretty good job there. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what they can pull off in the next 53 seconds. Yeah. And, of course, there's a third round if it goes there. So, mm-hmm. um, Oof, unfortunately, by points, I think Reds win won both both yeah. rounds so far. So. Oof, man. He just takes that, that yeah. right on the chin. Yeah. Jeez. Guys, do your neck exercises. And jaw exercises too are important. Like I the seen, gum chewing. I haven't seen. Oh, that was a <laughs> terrible <right>. throw. <laughs> oh, that really hurt, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's basically landing on his face. Yeah, I saw that. Um. Yeah, he's his will's been broken. Yeah, yeah. His will, like when you turn when you turtle up like that, that means you're you're not in the fight. Yeah. Um, he needs to get his his head together. Yeah. Um. I haven't seen blue shorts throw a single uppercut. Yeah. No uppercuts. Yeah. Which is so bizarre because he's been in the pocket, you yeah. know? Yeah, exactly. Like, you would think that... <laughs> he <just> grabbed his <laughs> junk. <laughs> yeah. You would think that, like, when you're in there and, the, and like, trying to avoid those hooks right yeah, there, yeah. you follow up. Like, yeah. Follow up with the uppercut. Yeah, uppercut, right there, exactly. Man. It's, I mean, it's so open. Yeah. Uppercut, and don't even think face, to the body, too. Yeah, Like, right there's the so many, yeah, rib shots you can take. Especially because the guy's much taller and longer, mm-hmm. and he's the one coming in. Yeah. So, boom. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, good good piece of corner advice. He needs you in the corner, man. <laughs> his corner, by the way, his coach is Ty, Eric, mm. the blue guy. Watch this face plant. Yeah. Um, boom. Well, actually, he oh, took it on goodness. his elbow. He did, um, his head did kind of move yeah. a little unnaturally, so he has probably a little bit of whiplash. Mm-hmm. That's why, guys, you got to do your side-to-side neck mm-hmm. movements, too. I mean, him, his legs are far thicker. Yeah. He should be just delivering leg shots Yeah, yeah, all exactly. Day. Look at Blue's legs compared to Red. Yeah. And Red's longer, right? Look at Blue. He doesn't skip leg day at all. Look at those thighs. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Kick more, especially in the pocket, like you said. Ooh, and he's got kicked again. This yeah. is a battle of nut shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who can take more damage in the groin? I think it... It's inevitable when you spar someone or fight someone way bigger. Uh, their kicks just naturally, their low kick will land kind of oh. there. <laughs> so, oh, if man. I were kind of... I don't know why he keeps on returning to that overhand yeah, right. It, yeah. it, is not, it is not delivered for him at all. Yeah. Like, switch it up, dude. I think this is so important. It shows how you spar and how you train is how you fight, mm-hmm. right? It's very hard to adjust... And he's probably trained a lot of overhand rights. Mm-hmm. He needs to dig dig a hook right into the liver. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right in the liver. 
See, the, I mean, the red guy when he when he gets close. You see how he extends his arms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. His liver's wide open. Yeah, exactly. His body in general is very wide open. I see mm-hmm. he attempted through an elbow. That might have been the first. Oh, elbow. there we go. Yeah. Nice, finally yeah. a body kick. There we go. See, even they clapped. They said his corner clapped. But yeah, he's very uh, blues head hunting. Mm-hmm. I guess he wants that knockout because he knows he's low in points. But you mm-hmm. can knock someone out with a liver or oh, rib kick or solar yeah. plexus. Kick. Every time you hit to the body, it's like you know, adding up. Yeah. In the piggy bank. Yeah. yeah. For the knockout. Yeah. Oh. That was a pretty good toss. Yeah. He did actually get behind that, which is yeah. Funny. Oh, he got his knee in there. Nice. The ref. Yeah. This is so interesting to to kind of see um, how smaller people deal with big people. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's very hard. So um, for those of you watching, you know, give Eric credit for trying. Um, Blue, give Blue credit for trying, but mm-hmm. it's not easy. Mm-hmm. Ooh, there it is. Yeah, there Finally. it is. Yes, yes, I saw it too. There it is. Oh, he's going to the body again. Finally yeah. ducked to the liver. Yeah. Whether his coach or corner man or he notices it himself, that was good. Mm-hmm. Keep doing that, man. See, it, there, right it is, there, there it is. There it is. There, there it is. It. He kind of figured it out, man. Yeah. He almost is. It just feels like our blue is fighting like a Muay Thai guy, which is like they don't turn it up until round three, four, mm-hmm. or five, right? Good so leg kick right there. He, he's almost like finally figured out his opponent. Yeah. But it's only three rounds, mm-hmm. so you kind of. Mm-hmm. And this gives a lot of credit to Red. Like this guy f- seemed to have figured out Silala in the second round, right? Yeah. But it took three rounds to figure out this new opponent. So I'm not saying whose b- ability is better or anything. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying in this fight, Red gave Blue a much harder challenge. Yeah. In the grand scheme of things. Yeah. He kind of neutralizes weapons early on. Yeah. What's interesting, I have, I, I see very little checking of kicks. Yeah. Yeah. Which is very strange. Yeah. Like, you, most people, are they're just taking it on the leg yeah. as opposed to checking it. Yeah. Wow, he went to full mount immediately. Yep. That wasn't even, like, he didn't even resist yep. that. Yep, and 10 seconds. Yeah, he's, he's over it. Yep. He's done. That might, um, that might be it. That's it. Yeah, that might be it. Oh, <laughs> a little yeah. after the bell. A little punch right in the face. So I think we know who won. Um, yeah. Red won. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I wish, I wish, like, lost the body shot here. Yeah. Nope. The head shot. Yeah, head shot. It's yeah. just glancing. Yeah. You never really dig in. Yeah. Glancing, glancing. I noticed our blue does drop his other hand when he punches, too. I didn't notice that until mm-hmm. we see it in s- slow motion. That was a gnarly guard pass. Yeah. <laughs> Wee! Wee! Yeah. <laughs> like a Sakuraba <laughs> guard <laughs> pass. Cartwheel. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> That's my alarm. Uh-huh. <laughs> I guess that shows um we should tell people since the alarm is up to go follow King of Dragons. Yep. That's what the alarm is saying. Mm-hmm. Follow King of Dragons. They're the one that put this on. Victor, big shout out to Victor. And everyone involved in this. Everyone who's fought already and everyone who's involved in this match. So let's look at the scores. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be unanimous. Mm-hmm. Oh, one of them. All right. There's always one judge who's a little contrary. Yeah. <laughs> 28 to 29. Interesting. I wish I wish he had gone to the body more yeah, often because yeah, yeah. he was having success with that. Yeah, he was. I mean, props to the little guy for going up against somebody who's clearly heavier. Yeah, yeah. It's tough. Yeah. It's really tough. Like, the power differential there is Exactly. Insane. Let's see what he says. He felt like he didn't perform well. That's what Red says. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. you're sloppy. Yeah, very <laughs> sloppy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, you know, I, I think it's... I don't think it's laziness. I mm-hmm. just think he's a, it's sloppy by yeah. design. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he felt like it was a challenge for him. Mm-hmm. I mean, the guy's, the guy's definitely skilled. Mm-hmm. But I think that if you got in, somebody in there who was a technician, yeah. that was just yeah. like, 
just do throwing a couple of punches to distract and then delivering a, a vicious like liver shot. Yeah, yeah. You know, this guy would have been done and, yeah. and won. Yeah, exactly. Because you just you can't hold your hands out like yeah. that, trying to to keep the range and not you know reveal your your liver. Exactly. Exactly. Especially if there are limited grappling time, right? Mm -hmm. If this were an MMA, MMA match, mm -hmm. maybe it could be justified mm -hmm. that he fights like that. But, you know, there's only 10 seconds on the ground. Mm -hmm. So this guy is about to face the winner of the next match, which is another very interesting one because it's an MMA trained guy who has Muay Thai training too versus a more pure Muay Thai guy. Nice. So... Kind of a similar type of vibe to this. Like, nice. this guy probably has more MMA training than the other guy, the blue. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see another example of that. Uh -huh. So that's going to be really cool. And we're going to bring you that coverage soon. So, right. guys, this is Fight Commentary Breakdowns, Jerry and Rob. <laughs> <laughs>